hello guys this is Fars and in this video I will edit this photo so let's get it started okay first copy the layer by pressing ctrl and J and now I have to increase the blur of the background so I have to first select the subject and you can use object selection tool also just like this Oh, I think Photoshop did a great job here. Yeah, it looks pretty good, but just fix the area where you need now. Yeah, I think it's good. Now go to select and mask. And here I'm select overlay and select this brush and paint over the edges. Okay. Now paint over the edges. That's fine. And I'm select a smart gradient and increase this around two, and I'm gonna increase the smooth a little bit, and at minus ten for sheep tails and three for contrast. That's good. And now I'm select layer with new layer with layer marks in output settings and now press OK. So this is your subject. Now press and hold control and click on the mask. This will select your subject. Then go to select, modify and then expand and I am giving here 25. This will expand your selection and hide this layer and select layer 1. Then go to edit, fill and select here content L and opacity 100%. Now press OK and now press Ctrl and D to deselect the selection and now look at this. It looks good but look at the edges. It's not completely blend so I have to fix the edges. For this I will select clone e stamp tool. You know press alt pick sample and then paint this is the method for clone stamp tool so i'm selecting the sample and paint the edges i think it's fine Look at this it's good and now i want to blur the background the layer one select the layer one go to filter then go to blur and blur glary go to blur glary and select tilt shift okay so i can find the scale or the selected area for this you need to go to view then show and select edit pins now it will show the selected area i want to blur 
the upper part mainly so drag it down and now increase this look at this I think it's fine and now if you want to add bokeh select this come into the effect and select bokeh and just increase this I think this is fine. Just decrease this a little bit. I'm getting 30 here. Okay, it's good. So press OK when you are done. Look at this. This was the before and this is the after. This is really good. And now we will do the color grading. Press Shift, Alt, Ctrl and E. To merge all the layers and then convert to a smart object and then go to camera raw filter now here i want to increase the temperature i think 30 here is good and i'm giving minus 9 for tint and to decrease the exposure a little bit i think yeah minus 0 0.20 is perfect and then i want to add some contrast around 50 and then decrease the highlights minus 62 for highlights and then thirty three for shadows and minus 10 for white minus 34 for black and i'll add some clarity around 20 that's good then go to curves so create a point here and drag this up yeah i think it looks good and bring this point a little bit down yeah yeah it's good then go to sharpness i want to add some sharpness i'm giving yeah around 20 that's good and then come to the noise reduction and here i am giving 10 that's good and 15 for color then go to the ACSL adjustment and come to the hue. That's good. And I'm giving minus 58 for yellows. That will give you orangish color. And minus 93 for green. It looks good. And minus 30 for blues then go to the saturation and I want to increase the orange I think 13 is good and decrease the green yeah, minus 42 for green and minus 33 for aquas and minus 65 for blows that's good I think I think minus 35 for blows is good okay then go to split toning and in the highlight section I'm giving I think 185 and saturation around 12 I think it's good then in the shadows 
yeah in the hue section i'm giving 277 and saturation 10 that's good then go to the effects yeah i want to add some grain if you want you can add i'm giving 13 here that's good and i want to add some vignette effect so i am giving minus 26 here that's good i think it looks good then go to the camera calibration and into the blow primary channel i am giving minus 8 that's good and plus 10 in the saturation now go to the radial filter and create around like this and i want to decrease here and i think it's good decrease the area a little bit I think it looks good now that's okay when you're done okay so color grading is complete pretty much so this was the before and this is the after it looks way better okay now again press shift plus ctrl plus alter plus e to Mars now I want to retouch the face a little bit and I'm using skin finer for this you can use any other way I just use the shortcut method that's good So I think it's good and and the effect only in the face so create a mask and fill it with black and then paint with a white brush. That's good. Now look at this. Okay, now I want a little bit doubles and burn effect so create a new layer then go to edit and fill and select here 50 percent gray and change the blend mode to overlay that's good now i am select burn tool and i am giving here around 20 that's good I think it's fine look at this this is the before and this is the after I just try to keep shine on the edges okay now I want to create a gradient map and select this like this and change the blend mode to soft light and I want to decrease the opacity around 40% that's good look at this this is the before and this is after and now I want to create another gradient map and select black and white this time and select reverse and change the plane mode to soft light again and I'm giving opacity around 15% that's good 
decrease this opacity a little bit I think 33 yeah that's good now I want to create a gradient and select here black and transparent opacity here 0 that's good I think yeah in this position it looks good then press ok and change the plane mode to soft light and also the opacity around yeah 46 look at this this is the before and this is the after it looks good so i want to remove this upper but it looks a little bit distracting so i uh, crop that part I think yeah it's good okay now I want to add some light here press and hold shift and alt and drag to increase the size and now change the blend mode to screen and press ctrl and t and drag it image i think yeah it looks good to me press enter and i want to add another overlay and so that's good and change the blend mode to screen that's really good I want to decrease the effect so create levels and create clipping mask now it will affect only the layer blue and bring this point like this yeah i think it's fine now look at this and to increase this little bit so select the overlay layer and press ctrl and t and press shift and alter now drag I think it looks good let's zoom in yeah it looks good this is perfect so let's take the before and after this is the before and this is that it looks great go through again all the layer so this was the image and at first i blurred the background then i did color grading on the camera raw and then some skin retouching and i add the gradient map and the one gradient fill then I add the light and the overlay so if you love this video hit the like button leave your comments and don't forget to subscribe